منشن إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما عليه الصلاة والسلام Indeed Allah sent his blessings and his angels ask him to do so upon the prophet All you have believed ask Allah to send grace and blessings upon him and ask Allah to grant him You need a tissue? Oh, you read in the Yeah, the translation And about the translation the, the, our, we, don't, we don't fall blind from any translation. We fall tafsir. That's what translation should be tafsir. So let us go back to tafsir. Its meaning is that Allah showered His mercy upon the Prophet and praised Him. Who says that? Let us go. Who says that? Imam al Tabarani. Imam al Tabarani was alive 360 Hijri. 300 years. Naam, when the Arabic language was pure in a pure form. Still. Okay? Now let us go back to Ibn Arabi. Ibn al Arabi is one of the all right, uh, peace of Christ to all of you. As you see, this guy, he is approving Imam Al-Tabarani to explain the Quran for him, and he said he speak Arabic very well. And as long as you are quoting him, it means you agree with him, whatever he say. Now, we will see in two seconds how this Abdul, he will change his mind about approving Al-Tabarani. If we go and ask Al-Tabarani about the chapter 86, verse number 6 and 7, where Allah, he said, that the women have a sperm coming from her ribs, and the man have a sperm coming from his backbone. This is Imam al-Tabarani, and this is chapter 86, verse number 6, as you see, and this is the official government website of the Kingdom of Jordan. And as long as you choose Imam al-Tabarani, as you see, he said it is, he was, exists in the year 360. Imam al-Tabarani saying, that the baby is born by two waters, which is the Quran is saying, the water of the man and the water of the man, woman. The water of the man is coming from his backbone, and the water of the woman is coming from the taraib. And here he continue, and what taraib, jama'u tarbiya, wa huwa mawdi'u al-qilada min al-sadr. And it is the location of the necklace on the chest. So, al-tabarani, which speak Arabic very well, and you cannot say to me now, you, you don't understand Arabic. He understood very well what Allah, he said. That women, they have a sperm coming from their ribs. And f specifically from the location of the necklace. Now, obviously, at tabarani he is certified by Brother Shamsi. And as long as Brother Shamsi, he approved him to be a high scholar who speak Arabic very well. Then Brother Shamsi, he have to explain to us how his God is being stupid and he say and he claim that women have a sperm coming from their ribs. <laughs> and now what Shamsi will do? He will say at Tabarani he don't speak good Arabic or he will say that Tabarani at that day he was taking hashish from Morocco. Same time, when those Muslim Abdul, they keep talking, trying to defend Muhammad Hijab, who made a poo-poo and he made it clear that Allah, he pray for, he don't pray to. Are they really successful? If we go to the, to the verses we are talking about in the Quran, you will see that all the explanation Muslim they try to give, it's not working. Because this guy, he's saying that Allah, he is showering the Prophet on a blessing. Uh, that is... A joke. Why? <clears throat> because if you read the verse with me, you will see how the verse itself exposing the Muslims lies about this verse. If Allah is showering the Prophet with blessing, then what is the need of the angels and the believers to shower him with blessing? Because if Allah blessed him, no one else need to bless him because nobody can bless you anyway. You see, when I say bless you, I mean may God bless you. But if God already blessed you, that's mean I'm being stupid and I should not say that because already you are being blessed. And there is no need to ask for more blessing because that will not ask for more blessing. It is just a stupid thing. So if you see here the Muslim translation, even the interpretation, they are trying to avoid the problem. How Allah, he say that Allah and the angels, they are, they are praying on the Prophet. And, you know, if we go in Arabic, you know, all the verses who use the word Salah, as an example, Muhammad Hijab himself, he used the chapter 9, verse 103, and he said it says the exact word. 
exact word Salli alayhim and you can see the video I made for Muhammad Hijab where he himself quoted this verse to explain that verse and he said it's exactly the same meaning is that mean Allah is that mean the Prophet worshiping worshiping the believers but if we're going to see what is exact meaning is 103 you will see it says it clearly that he pray there is no blessing in this in this case it's a joke it's a lie here we go this is the choice of Muhammad Hijab which he chose of their goods take arms and you know so you can purify them certify them and pray in their behalf this is what the word Salli on it is not a blessing on Muhammad is praying on your behalf and how Muhammad he pray on your behalf because he's a scumbag because there's nobody can pray in the behalf of somebody because you paid him as you see those people they pay Muhammad and he pray in their behalf how you can pray in the behalf of somebody so if you are rich you do not need to pray no more I pay you you pray in my behalf and then you sanctify me if we go to the verse we are talking about verse number 56 here the verse he is saying that this is not about Allah praying that will be stupid because uh, again Allah if he is blessed Muhammad and shower him then he do not need anyone else because Allah is the one is asking the, 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 the angels to do blessing Allah and the angels look they are doing a blessing sending a blessing if Allah he blessed him already that's it who need the angel what the angels can do what the angels can do to the blessing of Allah can angels make a blessing of their own no if Allah blessed him already it's a decision is made and then if the angels are going to bless him that's mean they are going to ask Allah to bless him so what the point of this is stupidity and then the the, the 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 drama continue and then oh who you believe send the blessing this is, doesn't say blessing it says Sully pray ask pray this is stupid doesn't say blessing because the the believers cannot bless Muhammad the only one can bless in this case if it is exist it is Allah the rest they cannot bless anyone if your mother she said to you bless you doesn't mean she is a blessing you really she is saying may God bless you blessing come only from God so what is the need of the rest so when they when they switch to the word of blessing they screw it and they make it more funny and more stupid the real it is in Arabic it is salla wa yusalli and you can search in the whole Quran you will not find one translation for the word salah coming as a blessing except here because the Muslim they are in big chaos trying to explain how Muhammad made a poo when he said that Allah he pray if Allah he is the only God as they believe and this is why we say Islam is a stupid religion and don't forget Mr. Samsi, Samshi to explain to us how your Tabari your favorite Imam at Tabarani sorry your favorite Imam explain that the women she have a sperm coming from her ribs remember you are the one who chooses Imam and you are the one who said this is he is speak Arabic perfectly and he is exists 360 years after Muhammad which means he is very approved by you and not only that your Imam as the Quran says that the man have a sperm coming from his backbone which is very stupid too because bones is not where the sperm coming from and it's not from the backbone anyway and women they have no sperm and this is a stupid statement of your prophet don't forget to join us click at the link you see in the banner there or just type it in your browser so you can join us live when we are live on air thank you very much and may the lord bless you thank you